Hi guys, I'm Juliana, your automotive woman. Welcome back to How To Tuesdays. If you missed a previous episode of How To Tuesday, click the link above. Trust me when I say you don't want to miss How To Tuesdays. I save you time, I save you money, I feature some pretty cool car tech, and every once in a while I share my driving tips I learned on my family's go-kart track. But today is all about teaching you how to charge your EV in public. First, before we get started, I want you guys to know this is the exact charging station or charging tower that I taught myself how to charge an EV this week while I've been test driving the 2021 Kia Soul EV, which I'm reviewing this week on Future Car Friday. But it doesn't matter if you're Canadian, American, or one of my overseas viewers watching this video, we all universally charge our EVs the same way. We just might call our connectors something different. But essentially, we all use apps, a prepaid membership card, or our credit cards. So I hope moving forward, this video will help you. Before heading out for your first EV road trip, I have two recommendations for you. Identifying where your EV charging stations are and figuring out where your plug-in port is on your car. For my first point, I've actually been using the Petro Canada EV app because I'm already a Petro Canada Rewards Point member, but also because I know they've created Canada's first coast to coast fast charging network. For my American and overseas viewers, I highly recommend the Plug Share app because they have a great app and website that shows you worldwide stations. In relation to figuring out where your plug-in port is on your vehicle, I highly recommend looking on your driver cluster for the symbol which indicates if it's on the front of your vehicle or on the left and right. Or at the end of the day, it's your personal vehicle so you can just remember. But you could also use my suggestion for when you're renting EV vehicles. When you arrive at a fast charging station or tower for the first time, you'll typically have two options, a CCS or CHAdeMO. But if you're like me and you're charging your EV for the first time, you're thinking to yourself, well, which one do I choose? Luckily, Petro Canada allows its EV customers to match their charging station connectors to your vehicle's plug-in port. Because most charging stations, and it doesn't matter if you're using a level two or a fast charger like I am, they make you pre-purchase your minutes before allowing you to plug in or even disconnecting from their station. So being a new EV operator, this was incredibly beneficial for me. Now you're ready to charge and you have a few options. You can use your Petro Canada EV app or something similar in your country. You can use a prepaid membership card or a Visa card. And for this example, I'm gonna use my Visa because I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to go from gasoline to EV charging station. Tap right here. The system will tell you that it's authorizing or initiating. And after that, if you want to make sure that your vehicle is actually charging, check out your driver cluster. We'll also confirm that you're charging. Now let's pretend you finished charging or you want to stop charging early. You could either use your app at any time to stop charging or just follow along with the prompts. On this screen, it says stop at a different public charging station. It might be a push button to stop. But that's all you do is continue along. It will indicate that you're finished. But guys, I hope this video has helped you to conquer EV public charging. And a special thank you to my friends at Petro Canada for allowing me to show you guys how to EV charge on the exact charging station tower where I learned this week. I'm Juliana, your automotive woman. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss How To Tuesday or Feature Car Friday. Thanks guys.